Hello and welcome along to Moss Valley. It's the final day of harvest on the farm as we try to get the canola gathered before it withers. It's also the final day to get the next year's winter canola planted and we'll be doing that in the next field over. Let's get farming. So our harvester is 52% full at the moment. I thought I had everything out of the shed, but I don't. So uh, we're going to grab the, uh, the seed bags here and get that started. Let's get these done and up. And yeah, we want to get these into the seeder. We need to get them going as quickly as possible. We do have some rain on the way. Uh, you might also notice that we can now got our fill level on our combine showing, which is very useful. So when that hits 80%, I'll know to go and deal with that and get that emptied. We'll pull this forward and open up the cedar. There we go. There, yeah, there's not a lot of fertilizer or uh, there's a lot of seed in this, but not a lot of fertilizer. So I'm going to put a fertilizer order in. That should be here by the time we need to refill. And the seed is going into the front of this. So let's maneuver this around a little bit and put that in. There we are. All running out. Oh, that should all be running fairly well. I also want to get the pig food away from the windmill today and start giving that to the pigs so that we know that they are filled up. And this is not going to have to go very far to get this done. Now, I've worked out that the field 32, we don't actually need to worry about that being ready for the uh, to do the barley. I'm oh, sorry, to get the winter wheat in. Uh, because we're not going to be putting it into there. We're going to be putting it into field 25 instead. However, uh, we do have an issue there with this being the final day to get the canola in. Uh, get the canola harvested and planted. If we don't get this done today, both of these are going to be delayed. And the canola, in fact, on field... Uh, field 32 is gonna wither and we really don't want that to happen let's set ourselves up a course play course and as always we want to go with uh the longest edge i want to go sharp in the corners we want to go longest edge we want to do two headlands uh, we've got a single tool let's generate that course and that looks like this. It's going to stop in this top corner and we're going to start down the bottom there. And we should be able to get this going fairly well. I do need to go and empty that combine. Uh, it's got down the bottom corner there and you can see it's at 96%. It's made it quite a way down that field, actually. First waypoint, line it up. And there we go. Wrong season for fruit. Wrong fruit. Let's get the right fruit into this. And canola and away we go. So this now should get on with this. And we'll get it filled up with some more fertilizer soon. Because I think that's going to go down fairly quick. Before we continue on the farm, this video is brought to you in partnership with the awesome people at Apex Gaming PCs. I've teamed up with Apex Gaming PCs to create a custom line of PCs suitable for everyone from beginner farmers to virtual farming experts. And the higher spec machines are also perfect for streaming and content creation. Apex Gaming PCs have dropped the prices on almost all their products by 30%, so there's never been a better time to go check them out. Combine is heading up here to empty and it's going at quite a rate. We are going to have to empty it on its way here. So let's see if it'll actually follow us up the field. Wait, right, back it up. Don't. Uh, if it cuts in here, it's going to back out very quickly. Yeah, there we go. Needs to be unloaded. So I'm going to back the trailer into place and see if we can get it so that it will unload here without us really doing any crop destruction oh really you want to do it that way combine 
I can't drive into there. Yeah, this is not making it easy. I think the best thing for us to do is take control of the combine, back it out. And then we'll be able to get it emptied. And then we won't have to worry about any crop destruction or anything like that. And then we can just get it going straight down the field after that. And away it goes. Combine is empty. All get in. Forward we go. We want to get it started. So start that. Start that. Down. And then we want to go nearest waypoint. And that looks like it is on the right track. So we're going to order a set of big bags. I think six should do us. That'll be nine, uh, 10,920. And done. And they've been delivered to our farm for about 250 pounds. So that's not too bad. Quite better to, to get them delivered to the farm, I think. It saves a lot of time and a lot of energy to do that. Uh, and then, with those having been delivered and ready, I want to get these moved. So we've got a lot of pig food up here. And we kind of want to get this in with our pigs. So pick up that. Uh, 2,000 litres for every two boxes we have here. And these going straight into the pigs. It's just saving us so much money, this. It's it's a little bit ridiculous. But it makes sense. Uh, means that we can probably get rid of the pig feed area. It's or our, our pig feed mix eggs. We're not looking at using that going forward, I don't think. So pig food in. And the second one in. It'll take both of those. And done. And yeah, this is going to keep our pigs going for quite a while, I think. And then this one here will take the second 2,000 litres. And that should keep things going pretty nicely with the pigs. Yep, they are... Wow, not a moment too soon. Yeah, they will both take a big whack of food. Still plenty of food in for the chickens. And in fact... I need to do something about moving the chickens because we are at full capacity. We're not making any more chicks and we have an entire house that's not being used. Our other pigs, yep, both of our sets of pigs need feeding. So we'll get all of these in there and that will be done. Combine is full again. So we're going to come around here trying to keep as much momentum as i can as we go up here make sure that we can keep up with the combine it's a bit of a struggle for the tractor and the auger is out but just being under the combine like this should mean that when we get to the top it will stop and fully empty and we'll keep this combine going. Keeping this combine going is very, very important right now. And uh, in fact, we're so close to the yard here that whatever we are at fill level wise, we'll just go and empty that. But uh, yeah, 93%. So that works absolutely fine for us. Our cedar has run out of fertilizer. So let's start it up and head back up to the farm with it. Get this refilled. It is very much against the clock today. So much to do, so much to get in. And uh, yeah, this massive amount of rain we're expecting about halfway through the day could mean that we end up having to slow things down towards the end of the day just to make sure that we can get everything in it's all fine at the moment we'll see where we end up uh, but it is going to be pretty tight cedar there if we get the cedar fully stocked though i think we're going to be all right for getting the canola just keep on planting it 
Uh, any mud we get from the rain might cause an issue. Uh, but we'll keep a close eye on that. And uh, yeah, I, th I think we're going to end up with possibly going into the evening on both the seeding and the harvesting. However, we'll get the fertilizer in. Uh, it should take all of these bags, I think. And we should be able to get four of these bags on first load. Let's take you forwards. There we are. Four bags on. The uh, JCP not overly happy about it. That's quite a bit of weight up the front. Uh, but it is able to do it. And then this just pile of bags goes over the back like this. And that's only emptying one at the moment. Let's get the other end. There we go. There's two of them. And then we'll just extend the boom and unload the second lot. Oh, and we've had one just break, I think. It's fallen straight off the cedar. That is uh, annoying. I've picked it up and picked up the other two bags. And we can just finish filling this up now. All of this should go in here, I think. There should be enough space. Oh, no. In fact, we've still got some left. Okay, so that should be plenty for us to keep going. And by extension, we can just stick these bags in here. And that will sort us. We'll get this set up back on the field. So that it can continue on nearest waypoint a little bit back and bam away it goes combine is full and we're gonna try and catch it as it does this last little bit in here yeah get under here oh, i was hoping to get under before the end of the row but yes there we go so we can empty at this point here and the combine then We'll be able to be or we'll be safe to go and cut in again without any issues and uh, make sure that it just keeps moving the more we can keep it moving today the better so this will be the last box of pig food and we're going to put it in the far pig area uh, because that is slightly down we got ten thousand in one and twelve thousand in the other We'll move this here and oh, I think I need to go and sort my combine because I have a feeling my combine doesn't have islands set on it. Yeah, look at this. We didn't set islands when we set our course place. So let's back this off of here and we'll set the combine up again. And hopefully this time it will avoid the uh, actual wind turbines if I set this up right. So we started our combine originally down the bottom here. So let's uh, close the course generator. I want it to go there like that and field position there. And then we'll open the course generator and this time we will want to make sure that we do a circle around those. So generate course. And we seem to be on a very similar course to what we were before. Except now you can see this is going around the islands here. So that should work fairly well. Seems to be starting and stopping in roughly the same place. So if I go nearest waypoint now, the combine should come in and just go round the island. So it's going on the same course. And just as the rain starts falling, it's going around the island. And once it stops, I think what we'll do is we will probably fast forward past the rain. Yep. And uh, then continue on. Rain has passed. We can go back down and it is... 22 
four in the afternoon so yeah that's quite a bit of time we lost today and in fact i'm gonna reduce our time down to five times just to give us a bit of a chance to actually get all of this done something else we're gonna need to do today is get this rolled and i think this tractor should be able to handle the roller the tm 155 uh, as long as we can we'll be good and we can probably go and do that job ourselves uh, our tractor is going well our combine is going well so yeah i think if we hook this up we can probably get this going ourselves so hook that back up there they're all good and this means that we will actually get the field rolled today which i was initially very worried about uh, i thought we might not actually get this to do but we've fed all the we fed all the pigs uh we've not got anything really else to do we do have a whole load of bales to pick up but having picked up a whole load of bales the last few times uh, i decided that picking up bales this time is not something i'm overly looking to do so let's uh, get this unfolded and actually rolling the stubble here is going to have no effect whatsoever so uh yeah we'll just start rolling the field and where we've seeded it should be absolutely fine whether this works going uphill that is going to be the real question combine is nearly full and i'm going to pick it up the other side of the windmill here it should make it round it uh, because it's it's just going to go around the edge of the windmill like that and we should also be able then just to pick it up so we'll set our cruise control speed down to six pull up alongside the combine and because we're emptying downhill this becomes infinitely more easy to do this definitely seems to be having a little bit more trouble going uphill it's not dropping revs massively but it is only doing it at five miles an hour as opposed to the seven to eight miles an hour we get downhill that's not overly surprising seeing as downhill of course we have gravity going in our favor and uphill we're very much going against it uh, but we are getting our downward uh, runs done a lot quicker than our upward on a plus note our cedar is definitely over halfway through this field at this point so i'm quite happy with that we've not got a huge amount of time left to go to get this canola in so that's very good news and it looks to me like the harvester the combine harvester is reaching about the halfway point as well i don't think we're going to have to go very far into the evening to actually get all of this done Combine's getting full again as it approaches the top of the field. So we'll get that emptied out. Uh, should be a little bit fun. Oh, in fact, yeah, it's going to stop before it gets to that. That's good news. So we'll just back this up. And I think it will stop at the end of the row here, maybe don't think it'll make us go no it is just going to keep going not overly realistic to go through that wire holding up the windmill there but we are at least emptying that cedar is moving in a much farther faster that cedar is moving at a much faster rate up this hill than i am i mean if we align it like that you can see just how quickly it goes behind the cab of my tm 155 combine needs emptying again and we've got another nearly full trailer so we'll go and get this tipped and of course this is the thing that's slowing our roller down from catching up while our roller is a lot slower than the cedar uh, it is twice the width so the cedar isn't going twice the speed uh, so the roller is catching up but of course every so often we have to come and deal with this and get this trailer or get the combine emptied and this trailer emptied and that slows us down we're about halfway through this field with the rolling now 
the cedar is not massively far off the end i think that's only got about three or four rows to go there the thing that's still concerning me is the harvester it's coming up to a fairly full tank at the moment so uh we'll have to head over there and empty that again uh this can go into the evening we're and we're not expecting any uh any more rain today thankfully uh so uh i think that we'll get this canola in and we'll get it all rolled the combine though that is much more of a worry for me the sun is beginning to fade a bit and i really want to empty this combine at the end of this row here to keep things simplified if we can get there in time for it yep we should be able to I think that will empty at the end here. Oh, not quite. And that's not good news because he is now going to go and cut in before we can actually empty it. Unless I can uh, come along here and empty it enough. No, nope, he is going to head into the crop, I think. And yeah, he will end up cutting in so that he can let me empty in this row. So just like that, he's cut a section in so that I can empty. If we caught it at the top of the last row, we'd have been fine. But now we need to stop the combine and empty it there, which is not great when we're running short on time. Our cedar has reached the end of the field, is heading down this way. So we'll try and avoid it as we do our next turn. Which makes some interesting rolling at the end here. And we're going to have to go right up to the top here to turn this around. I think we've only got probably three or four rows left with the roller. Uh, so that's not bad at all. But it is coming up to half past six. And of course, in September, that means it's beginning to get dark. And I'm really hoping we haven't got much left to do with the combine. Nope, there really isn't much. We've got this little bit left at the top there to finish things off. And in fact, this is a really good yield. 125% across most of the top of the field. In fact nothing below 120 percent in this whole top area of the field that is really really good sun's getting pretty low now we can see the cedar going around for its first headland still so that's still got a couple of headlands to go uh we've got one maybe two rows to do here with the rolling before we also going around on the headlands so the, the good thing about that is uh, we only have to go around the headlands once with this roller. And uh, so by the time we finish this field, I'm kind of hoping that Cedar's going to finish all three headlands for us. And yeah, you can see up here, we're going to be going around and on the headland uh, where it's been, but that's fine rolling everything in and then coming around for the head later is no problem at all uh, bring this round get back on our next track that's up as long as we're not leaving a gap we're fine and it's looking like we're fine and the time's just gone past seven o'clock the combine is coming up on its final row so that will complete the harvest for this year in fact there we are combine needs to be unloaded uh, we should be able to finish off the canola tonight and get that rolled in so i'll be happy with that finished as well and that means today has actually been something of quite a big success yeah that's emptying out into there so with that we're ready to move on with from the harvest and start with next year's setup here on Moss Valley. We'll continue doing the seeding and uh, we've got a couple of other bits and pieces to do. I want to deal with the animals next time as well.
for now all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye